What's up guys, Eric Weber, from lead guitar player for Bohemian Funk here. We're gonna be doing 30 questions with me. How old were you when you started playing music? Six years old. Other than guitar, what instruments did you play? I can play bass, some drums, and a little bit of keyboards. What was the first song you learned to play on guitar? That would be Dream On by Aerosmith. How old were you when you decided that you wanted to do music as a career? Six years old. As soon as I, as soon as I seen this guy shredding eruption, it was over. What is the one thing you couldn't live without? I would have to say my hands, because uh, then this wouldn't even be possible. What is your favorite meal? Pizza. Pizza all day. Snacks, sweet or salty? Both together. They're great together. What is one of your biggest pet peeves? You know, when you go and you get food with your buddy and then you both get fries and then your buddy's like, oh, I'm going to eat fries before we get home and then he ends up eating half of your fries. Yeah, that, don't do that. What is something you own that you truly cherish? I would have to say my studio, being able to, to create and express any time that I'd like, right in the you know, comfort of my home, that is something I truly cherish. What is something you're afraid of? I am afraid of the dark. It really freaks me out. What's your spirit animal? If a sloth and an owl was to mate, that baby would be my spirit animal. I do. I have three pets. I got a cat, I got a pit bull, and I have an English bulldog. And they're all great. Love them to death. Do you have any nicknames? Yes. In high school, people used to call me E Dub, E Double Dub, E Double Dub Dub, E Double Trouble, E Double Dub on your Dub Dub. And that's it. What three words would you say best describe you? I'd say caring, humble, and passionate. Outside of music, what are some of your hobbies? Uh, I like to spin poi, fire, performance, flow arts. Um, love binge watching Netflix, uh, a lot of meditating, um, and food. I, I just can't get away from the food. Now I'm addicted to it. The best advice someone has given you? Uh, don't eat where you shit. It's, it's just not sanitary. Who do you look up to most in the world? Um, Terrence McKenna, hands down. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Teleportation, but I'd have to be able to bring whatever I'm touching with me. So I'm, I'm going to take this guitar and this amp and we're all going. What's your favorite place you've traveled to? Miami Beach during COVID. I don't know if I'd like it that much, you know, without the COVID, but with the COVID, there was nobody there and it was beautiful. White sand, gorgeous water, nobody. Perfect. Where would you like to travel to next? I'd love to go back and visit my hometown in England. That would be uh, definitely on the bucket list. What TV show have you been binging lately? Uh, there's a series on Netflix called You, and um, I just can't stop watching it. What's your favorite all-time movie? Bad Times at El Royale. Definitely check that out. It's a great movie. And if you couldn't be a musician, what would you be doing right now? I would say I'd probably be stuck in a factory doing something that I hate. So. And who's your favorite artist out right now? My favorite artist out right now? Definitely Tesseract. Love me some Tesseract. Who would you list as your five biggest musical inspirations? David Gilmore, Guthrie Govan, Mark Holcomb, um, Ackle Neely, and I'd say this is going to be a hard one to do the fifth. Tosin Abasi. What was your first concert? First concert was Mudvayne. I was like 14 years old, 13, 14. 
blew my mind. What venue would you like to play, play most before you die? The Red Rocks, baby. And what musician alive or dead would you most like to collaborate with? David Gilmore, hands down. And what's your biggest goal for 2022? You know, I just want for this band to be successful and to start coming out on top. And that's my biggest goal for 2022. Awesome. Thanks for talking to us, Eric. Hey, thanks for having me.